know what else it reminds me of? Obscure space games. You ever heard of a game called Run Like Hell? No. Fucking hardcore when I was a kid. Probably super tame in PC nowadays, but it was really cool because it was like a weird horror space game, right? And it was called. It had hell in the title, so you knew it was cool. <laughs> Uh, which was legitimately, when I was a kid, that was fucking hardcore. Oh wow, this is interesting. Whoo! I'm kind of surprised I did it on the first try. I get the feeling that, like, a lot of people had a trouble in that room. <clears throat> um, yeah, <clears throat> and like, there was an alien in like the opening cutscene or the first part of the game. It's kind of interesting, they do like a... I, um... What? Am I just back at the beginning? I guess I am. No, fair enough. Keep forgetting, you don't get pages in this level, so whenever I get those, like, tokens, I'm like, was that the fuck it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but no, uh, I'm not catching them in yet, because I can't be bothered. I don't see a reason to. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Run Like Hell, yeah, in like, so they do a part where they, they kind of introduce you to the characters and, st and stuff for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, this alien comes out, it smashes through the ceiling, grabs one of the characters you've been getting to know, and literally bites their head off. Oh. There's blood everywhere, and it's like, whoa! It's and uh, that I'm pretty sure that's what happens, but I'm pretty sure as well that if I was to look up footage of it today, it would not be as interesting as I'm making it sound, or like hardcore. Uh, I think it was like an Xbox game. <laughs> Oi, stuff on it! Doesn't anyone read the sign? <laughs> Sorry, we were just following the trail of quills. <laughs> While you're down here, you can do me a favor. You're not the only trespassers today. Get rid of those card critters in the power room and I'll reward you. The operator strictly paid you up from business, I'm afraid. <laughs> I ain't got no pay you, but you can have some of these casino tokens if you clear, clear the critters. What do you say? It'll help, it doesn't look very safe in there. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned. The giant laser. Watch out for that. Uh, let me help you get the door open. <laughs> Great. It's just going to close it on us, isn't it? Alright, I'll kill a bunch of enemies. That's fine. One thing that... Well, um, probably one of, if not my... Number one favourite episode of New, of New Doctor Who... Yeah. Is probably the 11th hour. The way that that is done. at the Just the start bit, really. What was that again? That's uh, Matt, when Matt Smith uh, first appeared as the Doctor. Yes. And he just kind of crashed into Amy Pond's life. And, um... I like that episode. He, and was, he ah. found out fish, fish fingers and custard, and he was like... It, it was just really expands upon... It was a great way to, to introduce him as the new Doctor. And, 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 and he's like, I'm still the Doctor, but I'm in this new body, and I don't quite understand it at the moment. And like, stuff like that. I really like that. And he's still... This is a portal puzzle right here. Portal 2. Mm. But Very hard to do though. <coughs> Can't turn around on an axis. I, got, I can only turn around by doing this shit, so it's very difficult to control myself. Mm. Look at that motherfucker. It's got a B card. <laughs> okay. Um, did I get my thing back? Yes, I did. And I just like the way he uh, walks in. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna save the day." Yeah, it's kind of cool, but like, you know, and, it and is his first introduction, so I, I excuse it a bit. But you know, back in the day, I would have been like, some of the some of the comedy's a little bit not back in bit the day, off, but I mean, it's his first episode. I give him like, if it's the first episode, then like, it's whatever. For me. But also, just just the way it's written, and I don't, I don't really worry if it. I don't think David Tennant's first episode was that great. Oh, yeah. um, Christmas one, invasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, why would it have to be a Christmas episode? That was the one with the Christmas tree it turns into a spinning saw, didn't it? It had to be a Christmas one because Christopher Eccleston left. He was like, "Nah, I'm not doing any more. Done." Yeah. Because yeah, he, he he butted heads with upper, upper management. Well, he only signed up for one season anyway. Um, I don't I don't think that was it. I'm pretty sure I, it is. Yeah, like at first you signed up for one. Yeah, but I mean, like, he only wanted to do one. Yeah. And I think, I, I thought he made it clear from the beginning. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's just what I thought, I don't know. Chris Rex and I liked that, he was cool. Because when they released the first episode, um, 
Do the air. What? You just popped it. When they released the first episode, he was um, he was promoting it like he was going to be the doctor for a while. Um. Another problem that I have with Stephen Moffat's era. Yeah, almost what the, I keep responding back. The day of the Doctor was good, but not very not good enough. <laughs> I liked the time of the Doctor though, even though Stu Bagful absolutely hates it. The the thing that he likes the most about it is that it's not the end of time, which is David Tennant's last one. He said they spent so much time, not really doing, doing anything and being interesting at all. Yeah. yeah, he really didn't like that, but he, he really didn't like Time of the Doctor. But I liked I liked the uh, the fun bits. I just thought it was a fun episode, really. Mm. The whole trends little thing and him getting really old while fighting his enemies. I thought that was cool. That was kind of cool. But it was just there we go. Hmm. Just in time, the boss was about to modify me into a giant toilet roll holder. Okay. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, terrible. Yeah, well, you've got your tokens now, so go worry about somebody else's problems. Right, thank God you turned off the laser. Jesus. <laughs> that is eight pages now. I haven't really thought very hard about what I would do if I wrote a dog do thing. I can't help it. Every single time I watch an episode, I'm like, that was good, but if I was writing it, you yeah. know? <laughs> Every, I mean, like, I don't mean to be cynical, but, like, the reason I tear it apart is because I love it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what Stu Bagful says. Yeah. Like, I love it so much, but I really hate what they're doing with it that's, right now. You know, that's what I tried to put put, 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 yeah, put together in my TF2, I love TF2 video, which is, like, I you, to truly love something is to recognize the flaws, you know, yeah. and still like it because of it. And, you know, the only reason you, br you bring out the flaws is because you want to help improve it, you know? Hmm. <sighs> Like, I won't lie, I don't think the Doctor Who was as big as it was a couple of years ago. And I think there's the reasons to, for that. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, I thought with the Jodie Whittaker announcer, I thought that was a good move because I was very concerned that if they didn't do something to improve the, uh, um, improve the views, then, um, then the, it, would, it wouldn't last very long. Yeah. You look at the numbers for this year. I'm excited for it. I think. Well, I'm kind of. I should say. Because they've been declining since since the start of mm. Peter Capaldi's era, and it's really unfortunate for what him. What the fuck? That's not how physics work. <laughs> so. Peter Capaldi's era has been has been good in some areas and poor in others, but and that's unfortunate for him. You but. I think that that Jodie Whittaker as a doctor would probably save the show. Because uh, I don't, I, I don't think it would it would last it much longer if they went with another man. Because then, who are you going to go with? Who's is there someone actually? You? Dylan Moran. Dylan Moran is the doctor. Yes, I would love that more than that. <laughs> you don't actually even know. <laughs> that would be a very interesting one. I like how these balls barely even consider the, the idea of physics. Two. Great. Let's kill me now. Uh, what is it with all these people um, saying that the guy who plays Q in Skyfall should play should be the... I really don't like that one. I haven't he doesn't, seen it. Some people are like, oh, he's nerdy. That means he could be Doctor Who. What does that mean? Doctor Who is a character, not a person. Yeah. Anyone can play him if they're a good enough actor. Yeah. It's the point of being an actor. Yeah. So Doctor Who's not someone you can be typecast, I don't think. No. Because even though, you know, like, a lot of people are known for Doctor Who now, I don't think you can really typecast him as the Doctor Who type. I mean, look at David Tennant. He's Kilgrave. It's fucking awesome, man. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think I actually kind of almost prefer him as Kilgrave. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, I, I will. I'll say right now. I prefer David Tennant's role as Kilgrave than as the Doctor. 
Yeah, I don't think he was that great as the Doctor, but... No, I think he was good as the Doctor. Yeah, but... But I don't think that it's... I think I prefer his Kilgrave role. Come on. That's not a... Come on, Bull. I like Peter I like Capaldi. That, no. I think he's probably my favourite Doctor at the moment. But I think that everyone was good in their own time. I like Matt Smith the most, personally. Hmm. Uh, I thought he did a good job um, playing as the old yes. man in the young body. Matt Smith. Oh, yeah. I loved his mannerisms and stuff, you know? How he'd kind of, like, rub his hands and he had, like, a bit of a slap sometimes. Yeah, he's just, like, he's a... He had a very... He had a lot of personality to him, to me, for me. Yeah. 